Welcome to the Amber Glass Essential Oil Group. I'm Crystal and I'm excited today to share with you um, this video, <laughs> this video about diffusing essential oils today. Now, I was going to have someone come in and do the video with me, uh, but they weren't able to make it and I was just so excited to share this information that I decided to go ahead and film it on my own. So if you see me checking my notes quite a few times during this video, that's what's happening. So the purpose of today's video is to introduce you to essential oil diffusion for purifying your home and office, for balancing the body, mind, and spirit, and emotions, and also for just having more vitality, more energy, more clarity, more uh, restful sleep, better health, and just for fe generally feeling better. Now, we're also I'm also going to showcase two of Ameo's premier essential oil diffusers and let you know, you know what they are, what makes them special, and when to use each one. So I'm going to share with you today the everyday model and also the pure model. These are both awesome diffusers and um, I'll let you know more about them in just a minute. And we'll also cover the ABCs of diffusion. So I'm gonna talk, I'll share with you, um, where's my little, there you go. A is about diffusion. Well, we'll, we'll talk about the benefits and purposes of diffusion, of diffusing essential oils. We'll talk about the best diffusers to use and what situations to use them in, how to use them. And then I'll cover which clinical grade oils to use in your diffusers and when. So that's what we're up for today. Now remember, there are three primary ways to use essential oils. You can use them topically, internally, or through direct inhalation. And today, of course, since we're talking about diffusers, we're talking about inhalation. So everything we talk about today covers the inhalation method of using essential oils. Um, now, let's start with the ABCs of diffusion. So actually, I'm going to share with you something a little different first. So I'm looking over at my, my little overlays. Here we go. The benefits of diffusing essential oils. Now, there's three main benefits. I mean, there's actually more, but I'm going to share with you today the three main benefits of diffusing essential oils. And that's you get more oxygen, you have negative ions, and you have great um, aromatic benefits. So let's start with oxygen. Now this is fascinating. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, says that our air inside our homes can be up to 10 times more toxic than the air outdoors. I'm pointing to my window because that's where outdoors is for me. <laughs> so up to 10 times more toxic. And this is especially if you have um, some of the common, more common off-gassing items in your home like carpets or furniture or wallpaper or paints, or if you have pets and they have dander, pets don't off gas. Well, some of them do. <laughs> okay. Um, or if you use, you know, everyday cleaning supplies, all of these things tend to off gas and, and put particulates into the air. Now, essential oils flood the air with oxygen. And we talked about that as one of the four pillars of what makes uh, essential oils so beneficial. And go, you know, if you have yet to see that, go back and check out our first video about the four healing pillars of essential oils. And you'll learn lots more about the benefits of having a high oxygen content. So back to benefits, there we go. Um, essential oils, they flood the air in your home with oxygen, which of course gives you more energy, more life force, more vitality. It also, if you're sleeping with a diffuser on in the evening at night, you're flooding your room as you sleep with oxygen, which promotes more deep, restful sleep. And it gives your body the tools that you need to really rejuvenate and repair as you sleep. Oxygen is, is a vital life nutrient. Now next, ben, um, the next benefit of diffusing essential oils is that you receive negative ions, 
puts the diffusers also put negative ions into the air. Now, negative ions are generated generated naturally in nature at places like the ocean or in high mountain air or waterfalls produce negative ions. Now, you know negative ions are present when you you walk in and you feel you walk into the environment and you feel purified. You know, the air feels alive and clean. It feels invigorating. What happens is the negative ions help clean dust and particulates out of the air. So if you can take that feeling of clean and pure and invigorating and bring it into your home with essential oils, this is definitely a bonus. And we have diffusers. I have diffusers in multiple rooms in my home. So when people walk in the front door in our house, literally the first thing they say is, wow, it smells really good in here. And they're not just talking about the aroma of what of the essential oils we're using. They're talking about that clean, fresh, invigorating feeling also produced by the negative ions. Now third, you also have aromatic benefits or the aromatherapy of the specific oils we're using. So each oil has its own specific benefit and purpose. So some oils promote clarity and focus, some energize, some ease breathing, some boost immunity, some oils promote restful sleep or a soothing, um, relaxing feeling, and some boost energy. Now I'll give you some more specific recommendations later in this video of which oils to to use for which um, different situations. Um, but first, I'm gonna tell you about the different diffusers and how to use them. Now, a Mayo carries two different types of diffusers. There are ultrasonic diffusers and there are nebulizing diffusers. Now, there are two models of the ultrasonic diffusers. There's the everyday model that I have here and then the globe model. Now the globe model has some advanced features and it has that beautiful um, bamboo base. It's very aesthetic, it's gorgeous. I've seen it in person. One of my friends has one, it's beautiful. And um, you know, I recommend them both. They're both great diffusers. Um, they both work similarly. Like I said, the globe has some advanced features and more options, but they both work how an ultrasonic diffuser works. And, um, and I'll describe that to you here in just a second. And then there's also the nebulizing, which is the, the pure model. So ultrasonic diffusers, I'm gonna set up my little stage here so you can see. Here is a Mayo's every day, there you go, every day model diffuser. Now, um, they're very different technologies, the ultrasonic and the nebulizing diffusers. The, the ultrasonic, one, I'll just say, one's not better than the other. They both have huge benefit and they both do different things that are really beneficial at different times. So, oh, there we go, now I have more space. All right, so um, I own them both. I own the, the, one of the ultrasonic models and I own the nebulizing model and I use them both. And I'll describe to you how and when I use them different times for you know, different um, benefits. So ultrasonic, the everyday, um, very simple to use, right? So you just take the top off. There's actually two covers in this everyday model. There was the more solid white one, and there's a clear transparent white one. Now, ultrasonic diffusers work to, they combine water and oils together, and then they create a, a mist that permeates the air with the, you know, the aroma of the oils and the moisture of the water. So this is particularly useful when you're sleeping at night to give you a little extra moisture in the air. Sometimes the air tends to get dry at night as we sleep. So this is my favorite model for nighttime use. One, because it's nice and quiet. Two, because I can turn the light feature on or off. 
and three because it adds a little moisture to the air. So when I'm sleeping at night, this is my diffuser of choice. All right, and I'll tell you this later, but just to give you a little heads up, my favorite oil to diffuse for deep, restful, peaceful sleep is Pure Tranquility. This oil, I mean, opening the bottle and just inhaling, it just gives me an instant awe. It's like a Pavlovian response, except instead of salivating, I just relax. It's beautiful. So here's how we operate this, this diffuser. There is a line inside that tells you how high you can fill the water. So the first thing you do is add water. Now here's a trick. I keep a jar of water next to my diffuser so I can easily refill it at any time because there have been times where I'm sitting at my desk or I'm in my bedroom about to go to sleep and I go, oh, I want to diffuse, but the water's in the other room and how am I going to get up and do that? So if I just keep water next to the diffuser, it's much easier for me to use. Okay, sometimes I'm lazy like that. Right, <laughs> it's okay. So I'm just gonna pour water. And you know, I noticed with this diffuser, if I don't fill it all the way up, it seems to work even better, which is fine because it has a, it has a really big capacity. It holds quite a bit of water for a diffuser. Now the next thing you do, of course, is add oils. Now when you read the instructions on this one, it says um, to add three drops of oils or more. I find my little magic sweet spot is somewhere between six and 10 drops of oil. Now I'm gonna use Soothing Air because I like that this one really helps me breathe and clear my air and breathing passageways. Plus it's, it's invigorating during the day. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do eight today. Now the good news is you can't do too many oils. So just put them in there. I do like to do one oil at a time. Some people like to blend different oils together. <clears throat> and that's okay. If you want to experiment and explore with blending oils together, you can do that as well. So you put <clears throat> both covers back on. And then once they're on, you just press the, that's the light button, you press the power button. And you can see that immediately, you get some mist, it starts to diffuse. So it happens right away. Mm, it's very soothing, okay. <laughs> so that's it, that's how you turn it on. Now you have a, a number of different settings here. If I press the power button again, it'll diffuse for one hour. If I press it again, it'll diffuse for two hours. If I press it again, it'll diffuse for three hours and then turn itself off after that amount of time. When I press it a fourth time, it turns the mist off and it turns the unit off. And if I just press it that one time, it will diffuse for as long as it has water in it. And when the water runs out, it turns itself off safely. It will not harm the unit. That's how it's designed to operate. I usually leave it on that setting. But if I know I'm only going to be in a room for a couple of hours, then I'll set it on a couple of hours. The other feature this unit has is the light. And it's this great light that you probably cannot see it, yeah. Because I have my studio lighting coming in so strong, you probably can't see the lighting on the video. Um, but it's really beautiful. It's turning blue and violet and red. I'm holding my hand behind so you can at least see the reflection of the light on my hand. But the great, the best thing about this is you can turn the light feature to where it's rotating colors, or I can press it once and it will freeze on a color. Right now it's frozen on blue or I can press it again, it'll turn the whole light feature off, which is what you want when you're sleeping. Always best to sleep in the dark. Dark promotes sleep. So turn the lights off when you're going to sleep. Maybe keep them going when you're meditating or resting, or if it's the evening and you're winding down. If you have one of these units in your children's room and they're just easing down for the day, you can turn the lights off in their room and just have this going with the with the changing colors and that it's it's exciting and it's also relaxing at the same time. So that is how you use the ultrasonic diffuser. Okay. So we'll turn that off. Now some great uses for that one are in your bedroom at night, in your children's bedrooms. 
Um, I keep one near my computer or desk in my office. So if you know you're going to be working at your desk for a while, an ultrasonic diffuser is a great option there because it's nice and quiet and it's still giving you a lot of oxygen. And of course, travel with this. I mean, look, it's smaller than my head. It will easily fit in your suitcase. When you get to a hotel room, you know hotel rooms, sometimes they smell a little funny. Bring a bottle of Pro Shield with you and clean the air or a bottle of Pure V and have the diffuser going and let it clean the air. And then at night, when you come into the room to sleep, just empty out whatever's left in the diffuser and refill it with some pure tranquility and let it diffuse while you sleep. And imagine how much better you'll sleep when you travel with essential oils. That's my little travel tip for you. Okay, next on to the nebulizing diffuser, and that is dun, 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 the Pure model. Now, this is a fantastic diffuser, okay? It works very differently from the ultrasonic diffusers. The nebulizing diffuser takes oil straight from the bottle, blows a puff of air across it, and nebulizes or disperses the oil directly into the air. This is a much more therapeutic, potent, direct way to get oils into the air because they're getting into the air undiluted, directly into the air. Uh, you will notice a difference in how the air is saturated and filled. Um, you'll also notice this diffuser has more volume, meaning it has more of a sound to it. So I'll turn it on and we'll see if you can hear it in the microphone. So it has that little straw-like sound. Now that's with no oils uh, attached to it, just so you can hear the unit itself. And then I'll show you how to, um, how to operate this. You just take uh, a bottle of, of essential oil, and let's say I'm using this soothing air, I'm gonna take the cap off and then the dropper top. Just lift the edge and it comes right out. And then the little straw is what's going to pull the oils up into the unit. So just attach this into the unit by screwing it in all the way in and make sure it's snug, not too tight, but you know, make sure you can still get the bottle off. Make sure it's nice and snug. Oh, that smells amazing on my hands. Mm, soothing air. I know I'm going to breathe well now. And then uh, you just press the power button on top. So this right on top and that turns it on. Now you also have a number of different timing options. You'll notice it just sprayed for about five minutes and turned it to seconds and turned itself off. I can tell it to, uh, I can tell the unit how long to run. I can say run for five seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds and then turn yourself off for this number of seconds and do that over a period of this amount of time. So you have a lot of options of how to play with this unit. It's fantastic. Um, you can see it has a little bit of a, of a volume, so it's best to use this one during the day um, while you're awake, right? Because that sound, it's not, it's not very loud, but it's loud enough probably to wake you up at night if you're trying to sleep. So really to, to get a lot of... Um, therapeutic benefits directly into the air. This, this unit, especially during um, the season of being cold and damp outside, um, diffusing Pro Shield or Pure V or uh, soothing air like I have in here will really support your breathing, uh, your immune system. It just it's fantastic. This is a beautiful model. Also, it works really well for larger spaces. So in my home, my kitchen, dining room, and living room are all open to each other. So I have this unit sitting in my dining room because it's in the center, it's centrally located. And then I, this is what I use to purify the air in that whole entire space. Just one diffuser is all it takes. So this model is very potent. It's very effective. And, um, and I like it a lot. That's why I have both. So I have the the ultrasonic for sleeping and for meditative times. And I have this model 
for during the day for more invigorating times and for more like potent jobs, so to speak. Okay, so that's how you use the nebulizing diffuser and the ultrasonic diffusers. Now, um, let's see. Oh, when you're using the nebulizing diffusers, like I just used soothing air in this one, it's really best to either use a single oil or one of a Mayo's blends. It just, it's just easier. Now you also have the option, the unit comes with a couple of green glass bottles. What are these for? They're for mixing your own blends. So if you'd like to add essential oils and combine maybe lemon and peppermint together or lavender and peppermint together and make your own blend, you can do that. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can make your own blend. Be sure it's pure essential oils, no water in the nebulizing diffuser. The nebulizing diffuser uses pure straight oils. Remember, it pulls them up the straw and that's how you get all of the benefits of using your oils with the nebulizing diffuser. I'm talking while I take it apart. <laughs> all right, next up, I'm gonna give you some specific suggestions for using clinical grade oils in your diffuser. All right, so clinical grade oils. We did A, we did B, told, we talked about diffusion, we talked about the best diffusers, and now I'm sharing with you the clinical grade oils you'll use in your diffuser. Now the simple answer to this because people ask this a lot and you can get into a lot of detail. Which oil is best for this and which oil works best for this? The simple answer is whatever oils smell good to you and produce the effect you want. So if I open, if I'm feeling a little uptight and I know I want to relax, I open a bottle of pure tranquility and just give and just smell. If I immediately feel relaxed, that's a good oil to use. If I want to feel um, energized and I open a bottle of pure tranquility and I feel relaxed okay that's not the oil to use but if I can open the soothing air oh and feel energized with that one that's the oil to use so there's not necessarily a right or a wrong remember essential oils have natural intelligence so remember to keep this fun and easy you don't have to know the exact oil to use for everything I am going to give you some of my favorite specific suggestions. So let's start with deep sleep. Deep, restful, peaceful sleep. I already talked about this. Use the ultrasonic diffuser. That's the quiet one at night with the lights off. And my number one recommendation is pure tranquility. My number two recommendation is true lavender. My favorite, pure tranquility. I love this oil. And this will work, you know, and you can also try Calming Breeze and see if, if you like that one as well. Um, and that works really well for adults and children, the pure tranquility. It's just, I think it's magic. All right, then to enhance meditation um, or peacefulness, maybe even reduce stress, Again, use your ultrasonic diffuser because it's A, it's quiet, and B, it has that light feature. So it can, that, that can really support meditation if you're meditation, meditating with your eyes open. And you can diffuse um, frankincense for meditation or pure tranquility for meditation. Uh, or lavender is also another great oil for meditation. And then we'll go to improving mental clarity and focus. So these are oils that you would diffuse while you're working or in your office or by your computer or at your desk. Um, and you know, if you just start diffusing oils in your office, you might just make a lot of good office friends. <laughs> so um, you can use either the ultrasonic or the nebulizing diffuser. If it's right by your computer and right at your desk, Go for the ultrasonic, it's just quieter. But if you're in a larger space with you know, lots of people walking by and there's more of a volume in your environment anyway, 
go for the go for the nebulizing diffuser and have it really potentize uh, the air. So for, to improve mental clarity and focus, you can use peppermint. You can use lemon. Or you can use a blend that Ameo has now come out with that's in your starter kits called Determination and see how you like that one. That's great for focus and also grounding. And then to reduce stress, to promote relaxation, this is during the day if you're feeling stressed, you can use either the ultrasonic or the nebulizing diffuser with true lavender or lemon or pure tranquility, whoops, or trim and tone. Now trim and tone has citrus oils in it and it also has a little spearmint and peppermint. And so that helps both relax and focus all at the same time. So that's a good blend to play with as well. Now to boosting the immune system, we're into sort of therapeutic uses for the oils right now for supporting healthy breathing during cold and damp seasons. Um, especially, this is especially good time to use the nebulizing diffuser to really potentize and put you know, pure essential oils into the air and get a lot of bang for your buck <laughs> with it to really do a lot of a lot of good. So the oils to use for clear breathing, for boosting your immune system. Pro Shield is great for boosting your immune system. Soothing air is fantastic for breathing and improving your your breathing and your clear breath. And then Pure V. Pure V is really nice also for helping purify the air. And the last category of oils I'm going to share with you are oils that help clean or freshen up stale air or stagnant air. You know, if you've had your windows closed for a while, it's getting a little sort of stuffy feeling. Or if you're in a, um, well, let's say you're, you know, you go into a space that's been closed up for a while, you have that kind of heavy feeling in the air. That was a technical term. <laughs> definitely use the nebulizer. That's another time to potentize the air if it's, you know, smelling musty or anything like that. And that's the time to use some powerful oils like Pro-V or, I mean, excuse me, Pure-V or Pro-Shield. Or the other one I like to use that I don't have with me is lemongrass. Lemongrass is very, very purifying. Um, so that is a really good one to use. Now, of course, there are more oils. There are so many more recommendations, but all of the oils I listed today, except for lemongrass, are in the, you know, some of the starter kits that Ameo offers. So use these to get you started. You know, you'll, al you'll already have these available to you when you place your first order. So I'm excited. I mean, there's so much to share, and I think this video has probably gone on long enough, so I should finish it up here. Thank you for watching. Um, this is the Amber Glass Essential Oil Group, and I'm Crystal. And stay tuned for more videos. Um, oh, yeah, to purchase your diffuser and your Ameo Essential Oil Starter Kit, just go to this link down here below, vertalcreations.myameo.com, or get with the person who had introduced you to Ameo Essential Oils. And stay tuned for more videos because I have some cool stuff in the works, including my favorite Ameo essential oil blends and how to introduce the oils to your friends and family. So until next time, take care, get some diffusers and practice, use them, see what you notice that's, that's new and different. And remember, both models are beneficial. If you can, if you have the means, get both of them. They, they both work for great, great results. All right, I'll see you next time.